today we're going to be reviewing the Robert Rodriguez film, Road Racers. Road Racers is a very early film by Robert Rodriguez. The cover tried to make it look like some Sin City bullshit. No, 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 no. This is actually his second movie ever after the $7,000 El Mariachi. What happened was he did El Mariachi for $7,000. Hollywood started blowing him. He wanted to do Desperado, but, you know, Desperado was like an $8 million movie. So Hollywood, they were kind of like, hmm, we need you to do some little cheap bullshit in between just so we make sure. You know, they love to be like, oh, we love Robert Rodriguez. We knew he'd be a big director, but they really didn't. They had to be fucking, you know, El Mariachi was not enough. They had to be convinced some more. So what he did was... Showtime was making this series of movies, uh, fucking old Arkoff movies, they were remaking them for fucking Showtime, so Robert Rodriguez, him and his buddy Tommy Nix, they wrote this movie in fucking 10 days, they shot it in 11 days, and then they had like two weeks to edit it, it was some really cheap $700,000 made for cable bullshit, but it really comes off as like a real fucking movie, not your typical director, video director, whatever. Uh, Rodriguez was still in his El Mariachi shooting style, you know, that he pretty much kept from Mariachi, Desperado, Dustle Dawn, and then when he got into digital video bullshit, he started straying away, getting lazy or whatever. But this is the real Robert Rodriguez when he just shoot and shoot and shoot and then cut that shit together all fast and it looked all big and expensive and had energy to it. Man, the fucking, he was at his top of his game back then. Road Rizzers is a fucking throwback to the 50s Greece or whatever David Arquette is the main character he's just named dude because that's fucking you know that's what fucking Robert Rodriguez does he fuck story he just wants to do a bunch of visuals got the guy dude he lives in his fucking mom's garage he's a greasy motherfucker drives an old car well it's old car to us now but I guess it wasn't too old back then supposedly anyway his girlfriend Salma Hayek this is also uh, Rodriguez put her in this because he wanted Desperado in the fucking white ass studio was like no 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 we we can't get this Salma Hayek we don't know who she is we're going to get a white actress paint her face brown put her in Desperado so Rodriguez is like alright I'll put Salma Hayek in it so you fuckers can see that she can act and she got big tits and whatever so anyway the plot revolves around the fucking dude being a greasy motherfucker always getting hassled by the fuzz some fucking sheriff played by William Sadler Anyway, he has a greasy ass son too, he's always fucking with the dude. Some motherfucker with slick back fucking mullet. That was the only thing in the movie that really I don't think was time period. I don't really think motherfuckers had mullets back in the 50s, but whatever. So anyway, he keeps fucking with the dude, so they keep drag racing shit going on, but shit keeps escalating throughout this movie. Where it gets to the point by the end, motherfuckers killing each other, I ain't gonna spoil it. But you know, basically, you know, David Arquette, greasy motherfucker, he has hopes and dreams of getting out of this small town and mm-hmm, you know how it's going to end up, motherfucker. There's all kinds of silly shit that happens during the movie. There's a part where they're in a roller rink and fucking Dave Arquette wipes his greasy hair all over the floor. Everybody starts slipping and tripping and shit. I mean, this movie's just crazy like a live action cartoon. This ain't your typical fucking, you know, boring 50s greaser bullshit. I mean, it really has a modern sense of like just flair and craziness to it. I really like this movie a lot. Fucking Robert Rodriguez at the top of his game. He was one of my favorite directors, man. I love this movie. I want to give this movie. Fucking 7 out of 10. Picture and sound, you think, oh, this is so cheap, made for cable bullshit, it's on Blu ray. It's probably one of the ones where they take a DVD and put it on Blu ray. Nah, man, I'm surprised. This shit looks good. And this shit came out from fucking Echo Bridge Entertainment. Let's be honest, Echo Bridge put out some fucking terrible Blu rays, but they didn't fuck up this one, man. Fucking, it's, it's real crisp and clear. It looks like a brand new fucking like $30 million movie. This fucking disc is awesome. This is also the director's cut. The only picture quality issue, whatever, there is one scene, I don't know if it was an extended scene and they couldn't find the original film or what, but there's like one scene, it's like literally a minute and a half long where all of a sudden it cuts to like some fucked up, I don't know, videotape footage, like it just fucked up, but it's like, I don't know, it's like a minute, man, it ain't no big deal, and the rest of the movie looks amazing. The sound, they got fucking 5.1 DTS, it's vague, it just says DTS, I don't know if it's HD or what, but it sounded really good. It had a good mix, I was really surprised for, you know, a fucking cable movie from 1994 or whatever. Picture and sound, this movie fucking is so much better in sound and looking than it has any right to be, but I'm fucking happy, man. I love it when a little gym like this gets some good treatment. Picture and sound, I'm going to give this motherfucker 8 out of 10. It was really good. Special features. Uh, this movie did come out on DVD way back in the day, so I guess that's where they got the special features from. It's got an audio commentary by Robert Rodriguez. He tells you all the bullshit about how fucking they did this shit in 10 days, and it was so crazy, and they had no money to do this shit, but he, yeah, at the time, he was so young and had all this energy, he could just fucking pull it off. They also got, if, if you're a Robert Rodriguez fan, all his little movies, uh, his DVDs, they have a fucking thing called 10 Minute Film School, where basically he breaks down how he did this shit so cheap and how good it was. 
So yeah, so basically, Robert Rodriguez extras, not a whole lot, but the two things that are on there, I mean, come on, they're, they're really good. So special features, because it was really, hey, I'll take quality over quantity any day. Special features, I won't give this motherfucker 8 out of 10. So that's it for road racers, man. Fucking grease your hair up, go to the sock hop, fucking run some bitches over. Whatever you gotta do, have some good old fucking 50s fun. Or you could just stay at home and watch this movie, because it's a lot of fucking fun. And Undiscovered Jim, fucking good, man. Hey, man, he, he's got every right to do what he wants to and shit, but man, I wish Robert Rodriguez was still making movies like this, man. He was the man back then.